How good is your vision? Many people with poor eyesight, sometimes even very poor eyesight, aren't even aware they have a problem. Today, I'll introduce eight simple eye tests you can do at home to check your vision. I suggest you do every test because they each help and cover specific issues even if you have no vision problems right now. This test can reveal the initial stages of severe eye conditions you are unaware of. The final test is essential for detecting serious eye conditions, making it one of the most vital assessments you can undergo for an eye health. Let's start with contrast sensitivity. Take a look at this chart. Instead of letters getting smaller, they gradually fade as you move down and to the right. Which is the last letter you can read? Now, take a look at this image as we go from number 1 to 10. Which of the geometric shapes can you see? Contrast sensitivity is often the first aspect of vision affected by cataracts. It can also be impacted by macular or optic nerve conditions. If you can't see the bottom two lines on the first chart or cannot see the shape past seven or eight on the second, you should see your eye doctor. Now, let's check for astigmatism. With your glasses off, look at the empty circle in the middle here. Do all the lines appear the same or do some of them look more faint? If some lines seem less clear, you may have astigmatism, which can be corrected with glasses, contact lenses, or even surgery. A color vision test can sometimes reveal serious eye conditions, but more often it's simply a genetic trait that runs in families. Take a look at this image. Do you see a number? How about this one? And now this? The first number was 74. The second one was 16 and the last one was two. If you didn't see them, you may have some form of color blindness. Most common reason for failing this test is certain genetic conditions, but it can also be a sign of some optic nerve diseases and you should definitely have it checked. This next test could quickly tell you if you are farsighted or nearsighted. Keep your glasses off for this one. Look at the object that is right in front of you, like your phone. Now, switch your gaze to an object at the far distance. Which one looks clearer? If the near object looks clear and the far object looks blurry, you are nearsighted. On the other hand, if the far looks clearer than near, you are farsighted. Keep in mind that many farsighted people can see well both at near and distance up to the age of 40. Around that age, the near vision goes out first, and then with time, the distance becomes blurry as well. The visual field test is one of the most important tests for detecting and preventing reversible eye damage. This helps identify early signs of glaucoma, a condition that affects your side vision first. This is one of the most important reasons to have an eye exam, since these changes can go unnoticed for a long time. The danger, by the time you notice the change, it may be too late. To test this at home, cover one eye with a patch tape or even a piece of napkin behind your glasses. Pick a distant object to look at. Now, while continuing to look at that object, hold your finger as far to the side as possible and slowly move them towards the center until you can see them. Repeat in different directions, up, down, left, and right. Now compare with the other eye. Do they feel about the same or does one eye seem more restricted? If you notice a difference, it's time to see an eye doctor. The Amsler grid is a quick way to check the health of your retina. Look straight at the central dot, one eye at a time. Do all the grid lines look straight? Or do you notice missing pieces or wavy distorted lines, like here? If you do, that could indicate retinal problems that need immediate attention. For the next test, look at a red object, like a red pen cap or a red eye drop cap, with both eyes. Now, cover one eye and compare how bright the red appears. Repeat with the other eye. If the red color appears pinkish, duller, or washed out in one eye, it may indicate an optic nerve issue. 
One of the most common causes of this could be multiple sclerosis affecting the optic nerve. If so, seek help immediately. Finally, here's one of the simplest yet most important tests for evaluating your eye health. Since this test is done with your eyes closed, it bypasses any issues with the eye's optical system and focuses specifically on the optic nerve which sends your visual signals directly to the brain. Close both eyes. While keeping your eyes closed, shine a light from one eye to the next and notice the intensity of the light in each eye. Does the light in one eye seem dimmer than the other? If so, this could indicate optic nerve damage, which is a serious concern. Get it checked immediately. Your eyes are one of the most vital parts of your health. Don't take them for granted. These tests can't be a substitute for a full eye examination, but will give you some idea if something is wrong. If you noticed anything unusual in these tests, make an appointment with your eye doctor as soon as possible. It is recommended for all healthy adults to have a full eye exam once a year. To learn more about cataracts, glaucoma, or astigmatism, click on the appropriate links below. Thank you.